We want to create a snapping model bottom sheet that snaps to different scroll positions and sheet sizes in Flutter. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. We will use this package sliding sheet for creating an advanced snapping bottom sheet. Let's get started within the build method. Here I have created an elevated button that you see here on the right side. And if we click on this button, then we call a method show sheet. And here inside we call then this show sliding bottom sheet method, which comes from this package. Next, you create within the builder your sliding sheet and here inside you define then the snapping points. So here we define it at 40 and 70%, which is then later at this position and at this position. And lastly, you can then create within the builder the content of your bottom sheet. Therefore, we create here a new method. And in my case, I put here a column inside and I also place here some random text inside. And that's it. If I click on this button, our model bottom sheet is popping up and it goes then initially to 40% of the screen height. And we also have set it to 70% for the second snapping point. However, our content is not that big that it would be displayed here until 70%. So in case you also want to show more, then you have to put here more content inside. Make sure to click on hot restart and then you can try it again out. So if I scroll here up, then he will go to 70% of the screen height. And this is exactly this threshold here. And the best thing is that the content of your bottom sheet is automatically scrollable in case it is bigger than the size of your scrollable bottom sheet. To make this work, also go to your pubspec jumble file and here under your dependencies, you need to include the sliding sheet package. One important thing is that you cannot place within the content of your bottom sheet any scrollable widget, so a list view wouldn't work. Let's try it out. I click on this open sheet button and you see we get an arrow and our bottom sheet is not opening up. In case you want to use still a scrollable widget, then you need to pass here two properties, so set the shrink wrap to true and also the primary to false. Let's also try it out. I click on this button and you see our list view is again working. And if you like, you can also set here some padding around. So I set here 16 pixels in space around our widgets. You also can create an elevated button to dismiss your bottom sheet. And therefore, if we press on this close button here on the right side, then we want to call the method navigator.pop. Let's also try it out. I click on this button and you see our bottom sheet is hiding. And our bottom sheet is also hiding if you simply dismiss it by scrolling it down. Or you can alternatively click also here at the top somewhere to dismiss the bottom sheet. On the other hand, you also can implement a button which will open your bottom sheet up completely. And therefore we simply change here the implementation and simply access here our sheet controller of this bottom sheet. And then you can call on this the method expand so that it expands to the maximum height. In our case, the maximum height is then here 70%. And to make this work, you also need to wrap then here a builder widget around so that our sheet controller is getting here the right context. Let's try this right now out. So if I click on this button, you see that our bottom sheet expands to the maximum height. Next, we want to make our bottom sheet rounded and also expand it to the full screen. And of course, we will also create here this grabbing header at the top with which you can easily change the position of your scrolling bottom sheet. Therefore, let's go back here to our show sheet method and here inside of this sliding sheet dialog, you can make your bottom sheet rounded by supplying here a corner radius. Make sure to click on hot reload and then you need to close here your bottom sheet and open it up again so that this has here an effect. And with this, you see that our bottom sheet is now rounded. Next, we want to create a full screen bottom sheet. Therefore, we set here this initial snap to one and we also set here the maximum snapping point to one. And this is then basically 100% of our screen height. And now if I click here on this button, you see we have a full screen bottom sheet. As you can see, the status bar is even on top of our content. And if you don't like this behavior, you can simply set here this flag avoid status bar to true. Hot reload, close your bottom sheet and open it up again so that this here has an effect. And now you see that our content is again here displayed correctly. And lastly, you can set here, of course, also multiple snapping points inside. 
And you can also change here the initial snapping position, for example, to 70%, which means if I click here on this button, it will open up to 70%. And now we can scroll here a bit down to go to 40%. And we can also scroll here all the way up to go then to 100%. And lastly, you also can simply dismiss your bottom sheet by scrolling again down. Next, we want to create also here this header at the top and therefore you can simply go to your sliding sheet dialog and here you have a property header builder where we want to create a new method build header. And inside of this build header, we want to create then here a column to display multiple widgets under each other. And in our case, we simply want to create then a container with a width of 32 and a height of 8. And this is then basically here later this white container at the bottom. So let's also give it here then some decoration. So we give it here a white color and we also make it rounded. And lastly, we want to wrap around our white container a center widget so that it is here centered in the middle. And we also want to give it here a blue background color. And therefore I simply wrap here around this column at the top a container with a blue color. Let's also try it out. I click on open bottom sheet. And with this, if you open your bottom sheet, you see here this white container and also this blue background color. And maybe we give it here then some space to the bottom and top. And therefore I go here back to my column and above and under our widgets, we want to create then here some space. And this looks then much better right now, like you can see. And this header here at the top is really helpful in case you have here a scrollable widget because if you scroll all the way down, then you need to scroll all the way up to actually make it dismissible or you can simply click on this header and scroll it down and then you don't need to scroll all the way again up. And by the way, if you want to get here this whole source code of this example, you can get it with the first link in the description and with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.